Ah, COD and Battlefield. It's been... It's, I've been meaning to make this video because now I finally get my full full experience for both of these games. So let's get into it. So let's start with COD World War 2 because it's actually the first one I played before I bought Battlefield 1. So I talked about it before. So it had it had a good campaign, a, a, a good one. It's not one of the best, but the multiplayer was not half bad. And the zombies mode was kind of terrible in a way. If I rate it, I'll give it like a probably 4 out of 10. Because it's not making the halfway mark because of the characters and how the story is. So yeah, that's pretty ridiculous. So you compare that to Battlefield 1 that has a, a good campaign and a good multiplayer. But what shines from these two is... COD, you have, uh, nah, not COD, World War II, you have only going through one perspective of the campaign, which is Daniels. It's when he goes to the whole world, world War cliche thing when he's fighting against the Germans, and at the end he gets like a type of hero's welcome or of some sort. But <laughs> at the end, uh, he saves his buddy, and that's the end of the campaign. I like that. I think it was very well done, but I feel like they could have took what it did for its World at War counterpart and just added another perspective into the story. But it was kind of okay for this one. Even though World War Two, I thought it was going to have more stories because during that time there was a lot of, there was so many wars. There was a lot of wars. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't stress that enough. So yeah, compared to Battlefield's one's campaign, you're going through five different perspectives of how the war goes. So I'm gonna give this point to Battlefield One because it has it has like good story, good lining, good storyline to it. You go through five different missions from five different characters. That's understandable. That's like what five times five. That's like twenty five missions you play through. 25 and that then I feel like that can keep me more longer than World War 2 story or World War 2's campaign to be quite honest because I just love the idea that people are seeing the war through their perspective and what they have to do to make an impact to stop the war that's what I like about it so much so I give that point to Battlefield 1 so multiplayer I'll just get uh, multiplayer World War 2 it had one of the best multiplayers at its early stage until I installed it a couple months ago. They did so so terrible to it. I I I I I just don't want to play it anymore because the whole um thing they mess up. They mess up the divisions. They mess up the class customization. They mess up the lethal and tactical grenades thing. Like I was okay with this before. Like, don't get me wrong, I was okay with this, like, not having both, but just having one. I feel like that was okay, and that, um, you can have attachments on your divisions. I like that so much, that you don't need to have a extra slot for it. But now, after all these updates and all this BS community, like, the, the community in World War II is straight up toxic. Excuse me, toxic. If you go any of their websites, they're gonna talk crap about it. Like, I don't know from right now, but I don't know who's still playing multiplayer on World War II. But, um, the class customizations, they did very decently at its early stage until they ruined it. Because now, all the attachments you have on your divisions is now on your gun. Like, it's kind of defeating the purpose. If, they, if there was going to be attachments in the first place, why update it and do it now than before? It's... It's just pretty stupid for me to understand why why the whole updating system messes up how the whole whole multiplayer um, first person shooter is gonna be. I, it, I I just I just know I just don't know, but uh, it's it's a uh, pretty it's pretty good with its new game modes like prop hunt. I feel like that was interesting to know. That you become a prop, you whistle, and people try to kill you. I feel like that was pretty fun, and I don't know if it's still there, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make a video, but make a video of that if you guys would like to see that me playing prop in World War Two. But 
Um, it has another uh game mode that I love, I and mean, that is um operations. It's when like it's like a mission. It's like a campaign type of mission in the multiplayer franchise where you have one objective to either destroy the enemies this or kill the enemies that. I like that so much. I play that more than the uh TDM Team Deathmatch itself. I always tell my friend Bernie Nova, the the my friend that I always stream with. And the one that you see sometimes in my World War Two videos when I did that before, we I always tell them let's do operations because I feel like you could get more kills, more XP, and you can level up your guns. So yeah, that would that was pretty fun. So, um, what else? The whole oh my gosh, the whole um, how how do you call it? It's the um it's like a missions list type it's like you go to the stand of the guy and require him like a type of side mission or something you get this many kills you earn a supply drop i they did that very very terribly it's very poor and you guys would and everybody would understand why because you most most of your supply drops are going to be calling cards and pistol grips that's all you're mainly that's like the 90 percent of the time you get from the supply drop unless you got a better version like a ultra rare loot crater loot drop or whatever then you'll get some good stuff but i don't see why you make a pistol grip that our character is holding that we can barely see if we hold y to show off the gun it defeats the purpose and i don't know why it has to be mainly pistol grips i feel like they can just do i don't know more xp different calling cards and freaking more more to mo more boost or something or like how they did in advanced warfare when you get a supply drop and then you can use that in game and it can spawn any any of the score streets i feel like if they did that that could be so much better but now we got all this bs with the whole pistol grips and the calling cards things you, even if you get duplicates you'll your money or your silver thingy that you use to spend on these side mission divisions or operations or whatever you get you beat you basically get like 50 50 of those I don't I don't even know what they're called because I don't play it anymore. That's how little World War Two means to me if it's camp if not it's camping, it's multiplayer. But if we took out Battlefield on the other hand, how I stated in my other video that I love its um multiplayer mechanic and everything, I like <clears throat> I like how we get to choose from five different classes, I believe so. That we get to play as a LMG dude, shotgun dude, SMG Assault rifle, sniper rifle, those are your five main weapons, while the other is either a rock launcher or a, a pistol or a wheeling weapon. I don't know. I don't know too much about Battlefield that well, so I can't say, I can't speak out some of it from stuff I don't know exactly. But I love how the map is bigger than World War II, because World War II, you have only three sections to go. You go left, right, middle. And you spawn in in your side, then a couple of games you spawn in the other side, or not a couple of games, a couple of ki couple of deaths you spawn on the other side. That's just the boreas, and you can get spawn killed by everybody he really hates very much. But in Battlefield One, you actually get to spawn randomly. It's not always going to be in the same constant spot, but if it is, it's going to be random. So like you can spawn in the same spot like two times, the next one you spawn in different and goes on and goes on and i like that and the whole class customization thing i think it's only limited to two or three i think it's just the iron sights and just the attachments uh, i'm not too sure about that but i would look more into it and um correct myself if i'm wrong but um i like how it's really open space and you could go any direction you can go completely around the map or you go straight through or you can go different directions and i like that it has its own directing type of system and it has a feature of gas mass so any gases breaks out or if they have like a tear gas you have that with you i kind of i kind of feel like that's more useful and you got your whole perk system with both of the games so i like uh, battlefield's one perk system a little bit better because i feel like it's more efficient than the other one so the guns Gun sounds, hands down, I'll give it a World War Two. That's that's one that's what I'm giving it to because I feel like I'm actually shooting a gun. Well, in in Battlefield, I feel like I'm shooting 
the same gun but with a different pitch of the gun I, don't, I I just don't know like it sounds the same but it's just some sounds are quite off and like I feel like sometimes if I'm firing a real gun or not because I actually enjoy listening sounds of a real gun in a video game because I because I like how the developers try to actually record gun sounds in a firing range that's that's pretty freaking cool, and some of those guns are actually guns in real life, like the M9 and standard pistol M1911, the PPSH 41 that was used in the Soviets against the Germans, or the Car 90, I think it was the um, Allies' is, uh, best sniper rifle at the time, until we got the PTR S44 or 77, I think it was when I was doing when we got our classic SMGs, the uh, MG, MG42 and the or the mm, deployment MG42 or the Browning stuff like that and I just enjoyed the sounds just about the guns I just don't know I just love hearing those sounds but yeah I'll give that even though it's not a big ish big point I just I just want to put that out there because I enjoy World War II's gun sounds a little bit more than the battlefield it's kind of like loud pitch loud different pitches that's how it how I would describe Battlefield, but World War Two has its own iconic gun sounds, and yeah, nothing can take away my love gun sounds in World War Two. So this is like I I hate to put this here, but I have to give that point to World War Two because it's the only core mechanic left that Battlefield doesn't have. World War Two has zombies, so. I would say zombies is just a four out of five. Um, not four out of five. Four out of ten in World War Two because I don't. I just don't like how it takes a couple of DLCs to make a freaking sword, which in Shadows of Evil you can in um, Black Ops Three you can get the sword and upgrade it. In World War Two, you in World War Two zombies you just, you just it takes three DLCs to craft a sword to get the handle, the top part of the thing, and the actual dagger or whatever the long piece. Don't know what that's all about. Then when I saw the ending, like I I had no I had no pay, had no regulations of the the gameplay because when I was playing Final Reich, again, I think I posted the stream about that. I don't know where I could find it, but um, I I talked about it a little bit. Like I enjoyed the kind of sounds again from the guns, and I was playing it how I used to be, but now I kind of lost in touch with Nazi zombies. Because I was really hyped for it. Because I thought it will continue on with the whole zombies community thing. It's going to keep up the hype. But it was pretty disappointing when the first day it came out. No, it was not even the first day. It was only it was only like before, before it came out. Like a couple of hours before it came out. Someone already saw the Easter egg. And they just released their um, DLC 1. And, that, and it's like, dude, what the heck? No one... They did not even gave us a chance to beat it first. It took a couple of guys before the game released just to solve the Easter egg. Yeah, I kind of appreciate the whole the guiding thing. It, it, I feel like it could be toned down just a little bit where it's not only helping you, but you, you, have, you can solve some things on your own without help because you only rely on yourself to help yourself on, <laughs> on solving Easter eggs or ciphers for people and make a video. So that's where... A lot of these creators or content creators come in. But yeah, I have to give that point to World War II because Battlefield doesn't have anything up against that. So it's basically tied. So World War II has... No, wait, no. No, 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 it's not tied. Okay, wait, my mistake, my mistake. The winner, the winner is Battlefield. Now, now, now I'm thinking. I'm such an idiot, but... um. Yeah, the the two best things it had it was the campaign and the multiplayer. It's pretty pretty cool. World War Two does not. World War Two does have a pretty decent campaign, and its multiplayer is just a little off. It still has its good reliable zombies. I can only give that point to that one, and I can only give the two points to Battlefield. That's like what overdraws one or the other. I enjoy Battlefield's more of its multiplayer and campaign than I do with World War Two. And I enjoyed Nazi zombies just not that much. But well, but Battlefield doesn't have that. So it's kinda like it's an it's an unfair balance, but I'm giving the two points for Battlefield for its campaign and its multiplayer, and I'm only giving the one point to World War Two for its zombies, because that's the only thing it can rise against Battlefield because it has a third game mode. 
You got its campaign, the multiplayer zombies. Battlefield only has two. I can deal with those two because it's pretty good. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know your thoughts and opinions. What do you think it's better? World War Two or Battlefield One? I I I, I would love I <laughs> Let me just be straight. Um, I would I love World War Two very much, but it's but it's not what it once was before. That's how I would describe it. Like I would play it again, but I won't surely be on it twenty four seven. I only be playing it sometimes. But yeah, that's how I feel about World War Two. I I love it as what it what it was before, but now it's just like an average game I would sometimes play. But Battlefield. It's it's a good game. I feel like it's better. At some parts, it could be argued or debated, but this is just my personal opinion. So I feel like Battlefield One is better than World War Two, even though I love World War Two, if it's campaign and everything else, but not that much. That's how I feel. So I'm not saying I'm going to be a Battlefield player or hater or whatever. I'm just gonna I'm just saying that I enjoy both of these games and what unique traits that they have in them. But I like to play. This battlefield one more and World War 2 sometimes that's how I feel I can't choose one or the other because I'm always a COD fanboy more than a battlefield because I just got this game so yeah I will always be a COD fanboy but I would love to see more battlefield 1 or 5 or any of that types of stuff so let me know what do you think it's what do you know well, let me know down in the comments what do you think it's better COD War 2 or battlefield 1 it doesn't matter, um, it, it, you can either argue with my opinion or not, but I'm just letting you know out there that I enjoy Battlefield 1 more than World War 2, but that's not saying something, but hopefully you guys enjoy this video, and I hope y'all are having a great, wonderful day, and yeah, this is Finnegos239, signing off. Peace!